Welcome to the Philippines Premier Motor Show. This is Autofocus. I'm Ray Louis Gamboa. Here are our features on this edition of your electronic magazine, exclusive to the automobile and its industry. Starting off with reviews of two vehicle models presently in the local market. A luxury compact SUV from Mini, the Countryman Cooper S, and a 4x2 pickup from Nissan, the Navarre V8 T. Plus a feature-to-feature -feature comparison of two subcompact SUVs, the Ford Territory Titanium Plus versus the Subaru XV 2.0 IS iSight. On Autopedia, we'll talk about the importance of following your vehicle's preventive maintenance schedule. And together with the latest news and developments in the local auto industry, we shall have the launch of the all-new Kia Carnival as our special feature. The next 60 minutes is all about the automobile. This is Autofocus. We'll be right back after this short break. Ambition. It's not a destination, nor a finish line. It's what you keep racing towards, to push, to the extremes, to race, race, race. That's when you find the limit. That's our ambition. So you too can race yours. The Mitsubishi Strata Athlete, confident to the core. Welcome back to Autofocus, the automobile show. We start this edition of your electronic magazine with a review of one of the latest automobile models from MINI. MINI Asia and British United Automobiles Incorporated have finally made available locally the new MINI Countryman. This edition of Car Review takes a look at the MINI Countryman Cooper S. The Mini has carved a niche all on its own with an iconic design which has never strayed far from the first Mark I Mini rolled out back in 1959. To this day, there's no mistaking a Mini from any angle seen on the road. This is certainly true with the Mini Countryman Cooper S, even though at around 4,297mm long, 1,822mm wide, and 1,557mm tall, it is by far the largest of the Minis. The five-passenger, five-door Countryman was rolled out to carve a niche of its own in the now-popular SUV crossover segment, arriving as an SAV or sport activity vehicle that can be both at home in the city, the countryside, or even off-road trails. While staying true to its mini heritage, mainly in its proportions and overall look, the new Countryman follows a new distinct robust go-anywhere styling. The new black radiator grille is particularly distinctive with the red S-worthy Countryman Cooper S. Also distinctive are the asymmetrically rounded LED headlamps outlined by a continuous band of light that serve both as a daylight running light and turn indicators. The Mini Countryman also comes standard with front and rear LED fog lamps, with light band on the upper semicircle serving as the park lights. Serving to remind about the rich British heritage of the Mini Countryman are the upright rear chrome framed LED lights with the Union Jack motive. The roof and side mirrors of the Mini get the piano black treatment. Also getting the black gloss finish are the headlight surrounds, rear light, radiator grille, side turn indicators, and door handles. 
The Countryman Cooper S also comes with standard 19-inch turn style spoke two-tone light alloy wheel strap by Run Flat Tires. In all four trim, the Countryman Cooper S also features chrome-plated tailpipes and roof rails. Interior appointments have also been upgraded and updated in the new Mini Countryman Cooper S. Quite distinctive is the 8.0-inch color touchscreen display for what Mini calls the Connective Navigation Plus located in the circular panel in the center of the dashboard, featuring high-gloss piano black surfaces. The system comes with wireless Apple CarPlay, wireless charger from mobile phones, and a second USB socket. The 5-inch digital instrument display is found behind the steering wheel in a round black panel. The Mini Countryman now comes standard with front and rear park distance control as well as park assist. The Minis have also been characterized by having surprisingly roomy interior space for passenger and luggage. The Mini Countryman continues this tradition and comes standard with electrically adjustable seats for a driver and front seat passenger, with driver also benefiting from memory function. There's room for three adults in the second row seats, which can split and folded 40-20-40 to enlarge the rear storage space from 450 liters to 1390 liters. It comes in 12 ambient lighting colors that should suit various moods. The Countryman Cooper S is powered by a 1998cc gasoline engine with a mini twin power turbo technology generating 192 horsepower from 5000 to 5500 rpm and maximum torque of 280 Nm from 1350 to 4600 rpm. The engine is made into a 7 speed Steptronic double clutch sport transmission. Mini says that Countryman Cooper S can accelerate from 0 to 100 km per hour in an impressive 7.5 seconds and attain a top speed of around 226 km per hour. As with all minis, the suspension settings of the Countryman Cooper S have been tweaked to ensure firm road holding without compromising on comfort. The driver can also, at the touch of the button, switch from mid, green, and sport driving modes, changing steering and accelerator settings depending on mood or road conditions. All in all, the Mini Countryman Cooper S is a fun, practical, and stylish vehicle for daily driving and weekend getaways. The Countryman is the most popular Mini model representing a third of global Mini sales. It should find a good niche for itself in the local premium compact SUV crossover market. The latest auto industry news and developments right after this break. Ambition. It's not a destination, nor a finish line. It's what you keep racing towards, to push, to the extremes, to race, race, race. That's when you find the limit. That's our ambition, so you too can race yours. Suzuki El Tiga. Life is beating fast. Find what you're waiting for. Seven seater in style. Welcome back to Autofocus. We now have the latest auto industry news. The Suzuki Swift has gotten a good refresh inside and out. Inside Suzuki's hot hatch is a larger 8-inch touchscreen display for the infotainment system, which now comes with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Suzuki has also added a reverse sensor and camera for easier and safer parking. The Swift also looks a lot sportier with a refreshed front bumper and grille with studded net patterns. 
The added features and the exterior makeover give truth to what Keiichi Suzuki, Vice President and General Manager for Automobile said, the Swift is one of our products designed to be an everyday companion and a sure standout on the road. Meanwhile, Suzuki dealerships are taking turns showcasing custom variants of the Suzuki Desire and the Carry. In collaboration with partner Centro Manufacturing Corporation, Suzuki Philippines came out with the Carry Ambulance, equipped and configured to become a great partner vehicle for hospitals and clinics. Then there is the Carry Lineman, accessorized with gear, equipment, and tools such as the cab connector, ladder rack, toolbox, mesh wire. The Carry Lineman is a versatile vehicle for various businesses. Also to be showcased at dealerships is the Desire G8 Taxi that comes with canvas interface with wiring harness, taxi meter, LED for higher sign, and top light. Suzuki wants to have these customized utility vehicles visible and accessible to more people through displays at dealerships. Toyota Motor Philippines has reached two more milestones, passing the 2 million sales mark since starting operations in 1988 and attaining its 20th consecutive triple crown by ruling passenger car, commercial vehicle, and overall sales in 2021. Toyota believes that these significant milestones are not all about the numbers. According to TMP President Atsuhiro Okamoto, more than just selling cars, it is about addressing people's mobility needs. Toyota also assures customers that it will continue to provide them flexibility, connectivity, convenience, all with the goal of producing mass happiness for all. Okamoto-san also pointed out that through the years, Toyota has been placing greater importance to improving customer service, value chain offers, and overall Toyota ownership experience. Toyota's successes also go beyond the automotive company itself. TMP operates the largest car manufacturing assembly plant in the country, contributing to the advancement of automotive manufacturing and providing livelihood to over 60,000 employees in the entire value chain. Mitsubishi Motor Philippines announced that it is extending its all-in down payment deals for select models until the end of March. The deals will be made available until the end of March at authorized Mitsubishi dealerships nationwide. The automaker said there is a Mitsubishi vehicle designed to meet both wants and needs of its customers, whether they are prepared to go back to the office, venturing into a new business, or planning out-of-city family getaways. The deals based on a 20% down payment with 60 months amortization are subject to bank approval, Mitsubishi said. These include 28,000 pesos all-in down payment for the Mirage GLX CVT, 68,000 pesos for the L300 with FB body and dual AC, 78,000 pesos for the Expander Cross AT, 88,000 pesos for the Strata Athlete two-wheel drive AT, and 168,000 pesos for the Montero GLS two-wheel drive AT. Those are the latest news and developments in the automotive industry. We shall take another short break. Stay with us. I'll be right back. Ambition. It's not a destination, nor a finish line. It's what you keep racing towards, to push, to the extremes, to race, race, race. That's when you find the limit. That's our ambition. So you too can race yours. Suzu D-Max into new heights. Welcome back to Autofocus, the country's premier automobile news and features electronic magazine. Here's our feature-to-feature -feature comparison of the latest automobile models belonging to the same category on Head to Head. This edition of Head to Head pits two subcompact SUVs, the Ford Territory Titanium Plus CVT and the Subaru XV 2.0 IS EyeSight in a spec to spec of borrow. 
In the world grown enamored with SUVs and crossovers, automakers are churning them out in more and more numbers, equipping them with the latest technology and upgrades for safety, performance, comfort, and connectivity. Two sought-after offerings in the subcompact SUV segment are the Ford Territory and the Subaru XV. In this head-to-head, -head, we compare specs and features of the Ford Territory Titanium Plus CVT and the Subaru XV 2.0 IS iSight. The Territory is 4,580mm long, 1,936mm wide, and 1,674mm at its highest point, with a 180mm ground clearance. The Subaru XV is 4,485mm long, 1,800mm wide, and 1,615mm tall with a 220mm ground clearance. Ford put out all the stops in equipping the exterior of the Territory Titanium Plus with functional and cool-looking features. These include all LED headlamps, front and rear fog lamps, tail lamps, power adjustable, power folding, heated side mirrors with integrated turn lights, home door handles, shark fin antenna, rear spoiler, roof rails, 18-inch alloy wheels wrapped by 235-50R18 tires, and a panoramic sunroof. Subaru has also equipped the XV 2.0 IS EyeSight with advanced techie exterior features that include auto-leveling bifunctional LED headlamps that respond to steering input, power folding door mirrors with LED turn signals that automatically tilt when reversing, LED front fog lamps, rear fog lamps, roof rails, roof spoiler, shark fin antenna, power sliding, tilt adjustable glass sunroof, and 18-inch aluminum alloy wheels with razor wire design. The Ford Territory Titanium Plus comes with bell-padded seats and perforated leather, soft-touch door panels and trim, center consoles and leather-wrapped steering wheel that tilts and telescopes. The front seats are ventilated for colder heat. The driver's seat power adjusts 10 ways, the front passenger seat adjusts 4 ways manually. The rear seat back splits and folds 60-40. The dash is highlighted by a 10-inch display for the fully digital instrument cluster with 3 interchangeable design themes. Comfort and convenience features include smart keyless entry with push-button start power windows, speed sensing central door locks, automatic air conditioning, 7 cup and bottle holders, auxiliary 12 volt outlet, dual sun visors with illuminated vanity mirrors as well as cabin air filter. The Subaru XV comes with 8 way power adjustable driver seat with memory functions. The dashboard features a 6.3 inch LCD screen and an instrument cluster with 4.3 inch display between the round speedometer and tachometer dials. Comfort and convenience features include among other things keyless access and push button start. Multifunction steering wheel that tilts and telescopes, paddle shifters, dual zone automatic air conditioning system, 60 40 split folding rear seats, rear seat armrest, USB ports. Infotainment in the Ford Territory Titanium Plus comes with a 10 inch touchscreen with adjustable quad view, Apple CarPlay and added auto, 3 USB ports for charging and 1 for data, wireless charging and 8 speakers. Infotainment in the Subaru XV 2.0i S comes from an 8 inch touchscreen display with Apple CarPlay and added auto. Territory Titanium Plus is powered by a 1,490cc 4-cylinder inline EcoBoost gasoline engine that generates 143 PS from 4,500 to 5,200 revolutions per minute and 225 Nm of torque at 1,500 to 4,000 RPM. The engine is made into a continuously variable transmission with sport mode that drives the front wheels. The Subaru XV is powered by a 1,995cc boxer engine that generates 156 PS at 6,000 RPM and 196 Nm of torque at 4,000 RPM made into a Lineartronic continuously variable transmission with 7-speed manual mode. The XV also comes with Subaru's symmetrical all-wheel drive system. The Ford Territory suspension uses front McPherson struts and rear multi-link system. The brake system features front vented and rear solid discs. The Subaru XV comes with an independent all-wheel suspension featuring front McPherson struts and rear double wishbones. The brakes use ventilated discs on all four wheels. Ford equipped the Territory Titanium with advanced driver assist technology that includes anti-lock brake system with electronic brake force distribution, auto brake hold function, traction control, hill launch assist, adaptive cruise control with forward collision warning, lane departure warning and blind spot information system that uses high-definition 360-degree cameras and parking sensors in front and back. It also comes with enhanced active park assist system that allows the car to park itself. Added for safety are 3-point ELR seat belts for 5 with the driver and front seat passenger getting pretensioners, child seat isofix anchorage points and 6 airbags. The Subaru XV 2.0i SI side comes with dual function X mode and SI drive or Subaru Intelligent Drive with sport and intelligent mode. Active and preventive safety features in the XV include Super View Around Recognition 360 degree system, Subaru Rear Vehicle Detection, Reverse Automatic Braking, Active Torque Vectoring, Rear Cross Traffic Alert, 
brake assist and brake override, a vehicle dynamics control system, auto vehicle hold. The Subaru iSight driver assist technology in the XV features pre-collision braking and throttle management, lane departure warning and sway warning, and adaptive cruise control and lead vehicle start alert. Also added for safety are front, side, curtain airbags, knee SRS airbag for driver, rollover, safe roof, and cabin ceiling. 3-point seat buster 5, auto-retracting safety pedals and side impact door beams. There's a lot of advanced techie stuff in both the Territory and the XV, which should help them stand out in the packed subcompact SUV crossover segment. fine dining, a romantic garden wedding, a relaxed casual meal, or an important business event, Illustrado is the place to go. Aside from its famed paella, the Illustrado restaurant, which is located within the history-laden walled city of Intramuros, is also the favorite destination of food gourmands for its famous calios and lengua and other classic gustatory offerings. Illustrado restaurant, only for the foodies. Motul is the most trusted motor oil of the top teams competing in some of the world's most grueling race competitions. The WRC, the WTCC, and the Japan GT. Motul is the only 100% fully synthetic motor oil in the market. It has anti-oxidation properties that prevent premature thickening and aging due to thermal stress and guarantees total engine protection. For more information about Motul engine oils, visit www.motul.com.ph Mitsubishi Montero Sport. Mastery in motion. Drive your ambition. Mitsubishi Motors. Welcome back to Autofocus, the country's premier automobile news and features electronic magazine. Our special feature is next. Kia Philippines is looking to inspire and move top executives with a luxuriously appointed all-new Kia Carnival that is joining the local premium market executive and family bands. Check out the all-new Kia Carnival in this special feature. In the last quarter of 2021, Kia launched its brand refresh in the Philippines, bearing its new corporate logo and tagline, Movement That Inspires. Brand continues to uphold that manifesto in its pursuit to inspire a nation through innovation. As we witness the release of new models that express its new branding, we see movement that inspires become more evident in its technology and design.
Kia's recent brand refresh has introduced a new guiding principle to innovate more meaningful and thoughtful designs for our market. As we banner our new slogan, movement that inspires, we continue to initiate opportunities to apply it in the development of our latest models. All new Kia Carnival delivers first class treatment worthy of a VIP. Each key feature of the latest model supports his daily drive toward his avenue of inspiration. Moments of style that express his exclusive taste. Moments of innovation that empower his drive to seek more. Moments of comfort and convenience that fulfill his luxurious standard of living and moments of safety to represent his reliable nature, primarily making the fourth generation of the Kia Carnival a grand utility vehicle that rewards its owner with an array of benefits. It's time to make a move and upgrade your lifestyle with a sound investment that adds value to your daily endeavors. The latest fourth gen Kia Carnival presents itself in the AC Motors brand portfolio as a grand utility vehicle of choice for our modern day executives who seek to maximize their lifestyle with a vehicle that expresses their dynamic mindset. It redefines the image of utility vehicle by combining luxury and efficiency, two key factors that support the busy yet lavish lifestyle of successful men of action. From its premium build to its uh, convenient smart features, the latest model equips you with newfound luxury that moves you. Paving the way to offer affluent executives a versatile car for both business and leisure. Fuel your drive to seek success and maximize your lifestyle with the all new Kia Carnival as your companion. is taking to tagging the all-new Carnival as the grand utility vehicle, a segment on its own, and quite an apt description for this premium cruiser. Ambition. It's not a destination, nor a finish line. It's what you keep racing towards to push, to the extremes, to race, race, race. That's when you find the limit. That's our ambition, so you too can race yours.
Mitsubishi Strata athlete, confident to the core. Welcome back. We have more cars for you to know and appreciate as we have our second car review this week. So you want a pickup that could double as a daily drive during weekdays in the city and as a workhorse for the family farm on weekends. Let's check out the Nissan Navara VE 4x2 Automatic. There's now a pickup truck for most needs and wants of buyers of varied means. There are the 4x4 trail ready pickups with all the modern comforts and conveniences, the latest in driver assist and safety technology, as well as smart connectivity so much sought these days. These are most expensive in the lineup of pickup makers and distributors. There are the base models with 4x2 drivetrains that provide just basic functionalities and comforts in pickups meant to be affordable but dependable workhorses, the most affordable in the pickup truck lineup. In between are pickups of various configurations of power and drivetrains as well as accoutrements of modern day mobility. The Nissan Navara VE 4x2 automatic falls among these in-betweens at 5,260mm long, 1,850mm wide, and 1,810 mm tall, with a 3,150mm long wheelbase. The Navara VE shares the new beefier grille and bumper of its more expensive siblings, only difference is the VE 4x2 automatic grille is chromed. The rear bumper is also new and designed to make it easier to climb into the back of the pickup truck. Both front and rear bumpers come in body color. Also shared are the quad LED projector headlights with follow me home function, and LED daylight running lights, front fog lamps and tail lamps as well as the high mount stop lamp. The body color side mirrors with the integrated turn signals power fold and adjust. The Navara VE 4x2 automatic comes with keyless entry. The interior features some soft surfaces, fabric upholstery and trim. It comes with room enough to comfortably sit 5. The driver and front seat passenger enjoy what Nissan calls its zero-gravity type seats that manually slide and recline. The driver gets the benefit of a height adjuster to help find its preferred driving position, aided in part by a tiltable steering wheel. Passengers in the back can benefit from a fold-down armrest with twin beverage holders. The leather-wrapped steering wheel feels great and comes with controls for audio, hands-free phone, cruise control, and the multi-information display screen between the large dials for the odometer and the tachometer. Other comfort and convenience features include power windows and door locks and dual-zone automatic air conditioning with rear vents. There are 12-volt sockets on the dashboard, in the center console, and the rear, as well as four USB ports. The overhead console houses the map lamp, sunglass holder, plus a mood lamp. The sun visors come with illuminated vanity mirror, plus a ticket holder for the driver. All four doors have large pockets and soft armrests. Infotainment on the drive is provided by a proprietary Nissan 8-inch advanced touchscreen audio compatible with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, with Bluetooth capability for hands-free call and audio stream, USB, iPod connection, aux port, AM FM tuner, and six speakers including two tweeters. Powering the VE 4x2 automatic is a 2,488cc four-cylinder diesel engine with variable turbocharger and intercooler, generating 190 PS at 3,600 RPM and 450 Nm of torque at 2,000 RPM. The seven-speed automatic transmission comes in manual mode for those who want greater control of gear shifts. One of the strong points of the Navara has been its handling on various surfaces and road conditions, helped along by a fully boxed ladder frame riding on front double wishbones with coil spring and stabilizer bar in 5 multi link with dual rate coil spring and stabilizer bar. Nissan said that it has tuned the refreshed Navara to be kinder to people in the back seat. The Navara brakes use front ventilated discs and rear drums to provide reliable and confident stopping power, especially with anti lock brake system with electronic brake force distribution and brake assist for added safety. Also standard on the Navara is the Vehicle Dynamic Control, which comes with 4-wheel active brake limited slip and trailer assist. The VE 4x2 also comes with intelligent emergency braking, driver attention alert, and hill start assist. Pickups are hard to park, but helping in this is the reverse camera. Other standard safety and security features in the Navara VE 4x2 automatic are SRS airbags, 3-point ELR seat belts for 5 with driver and front passenger getting pre-tensioner, isofix, and teether anchors. The Nissan Navara VE 4x2 Automatic certainly fits the need for a pickup that's a comfortable daily driver in a city and a capable workhorse on weekends. Know more about your car and how to take care of it here on Autopedia.
here in Speed Lab, it's not all about making cars go fast and more horsepower, more torque, and all of that. It's all we also do boring stuff like maintenance, like on this 2009 Montero. It's a 10 year old car. The things start to happen, noises start to come out. You'll hear tok 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 ting ting ting. Nyit, nyit, nyit. That's normal for pretty much any car. Anything mechanical that moves will eventually develop some sort of sound because it's wear and tear over time. Uh, we already took this car out for a test drive and from initially what we can tell, steering rack needs work because when you turn it, there's a tok 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 sound. And when you brake, there's also a clunk sound. So that means we have to check the brakes as well. Actually, you don't have to wait for the various sounds to come out. The reason why it's called PMS is called Preventive Maintenance Service. You prevent it from happening before it happens. So, very good example. Stabilizer bushings. These normally wear out anywhere from a year to about three years, depending on the car. You don't have to wait for it to have a sound. But the bad part about being in the Philippines is, hindi pa sira yan, wag mo palitan. Thereby, there is no prevention that's happening. Pagsira na, saka mo papalitan. That is always the mentality of the Filipino people. Kasi, hindi sira, bali ko papalitan, gastos lang yan. And then when you ask for an estimate from the CASA of the preventive maintenance schedule, they include a lot of things. Uh, let's say, stabilizer bushing, shock absorber, axle boot, CV joint, shock mounting. All of these things are not broken yet. But may about to break, will break, can possibly break. And then you get surprised of the bill. Oh, ba't ang dami? So it's more of a culture thing, more than anything else. So if you really want a properly maintained car, even if it's not broke, you change it. <laughs> the CASA's job is to maintain your car. Maintenance means you keep it running problem-free. Things like weird sounds coming from the suspension, there is already a problem. When the CASA gives you an enormous long list of things that need to be changed, it is because it is what, let's say, Honda or Toyota, the factory gives them, okay, at X number of kilometers, change this, change that even if it's not broken for worry-free performance for the next X number of kilometers or miles. This may look very daunting to almost anyone. Your car is in pieces. But that's the thing about cars. As long as it moves, it will break down, it will wear out. And the only real way to tell if a part is really worn out is not just by looking at it, you have to take it out and test it. A very good example is this one. Most everybody knows this is a shock absorber. This is what happens to a shock when it's not working. I mean, it looks okay, there's no leak. Physically and visually, everything looks fine, but... <laughs> you should be able to push it down easily and it should go up. Well, I can't push it down and it don't go up no more. So, hindi na yung ginagawa trabaho. It is absorbing no shock in your car. So, the result is actually matalbog yung kotse. Or matagtag. In this case, it's matagtag because it is resisting the motion of the spring. So, this shock is effectively throw away. Other small things that get broken are almost always rubber related. The metal itself, let's say this one, this is the wall joint. Itong bakal hindi naman nasisira to eh. I mean, this is fine, this is fine, this is fine, overall this is fine. But the bearing inside here is actually a cup and a ball. Over time, pag gumagalaw, it wears out and gets loose. This, I should not be able to move by hand. Hindi dapat malambot to, dapat matigas to. And then, the easiest way to figure it out if there's something wrong with it, you hit it really hard like this. This happens when you steer the car, so in this Montero's case, sabi niya, pag todo liko, may tumutunog na, tok, tok, tok. Chances are, it's this one. So, that's another thing. Small, non-critical items are like this one, steering axle boot. If this is still on the car, physically, okay, okay naman ah. But only pag tinanggal mo, dun mo malalaman na punit na pala. And oil, grease will leak out through here. And pag nawawalan ng grasa, umiingay yung pyesa. So we're changing it with a new one, fresh and new, no hole, no nothing. Other items that have ball joints like this one, this is also part of the steering assembly. This is also soft, I should not be able to move this by hand, so... Should not make that sound also. So, tapo na rin to. 
We have replacement parts for pretty much anything uh, available on the market. If the Casa has it, there's always an equivalent replacement part. Cheaper than Casa, pretty much just as good also. Other things that we look out for are items that get worn out, like here, brake shoe. This is especially true for drum brake cars because it is behind the brake shoe, as in hindi mo nakikita. Part of periodic maintenance actually involves taking this entire thing out and physically checking the brake shoe here. This, by the way, is already, we replaced the brake shoe and this is the original size, ganun kakapal. This is what your brake shoe is now, less than half the size already, so palitin na. And among other things, that brake rotors for the front. As you notice, this is very shiny right now because this has been refaced. This is the cheaper way to do it. You can actually reface rotors up to about two times before they get too thin to reface and then you have to replace it because this does get worn down over time. So this is still fine. Most of the kalampag and other things that you mo while driving is pretty much suspension related. So periodic maintenance means visually checking each and every part by a shop that knows what it's doing. And then if needed be, take out the part to physically inspect it and test like what we just did a while ago to see if it's still working as it should. This also why if you delay periodic maintenance and then wait until na medyo madami ng sira, when you ask for an estimate from the casa or another shop, mahaba yung listahan. Eh, madaming sira eh. And can you tipid yung paggawa? Of course you can. No, gagawin mo lang to. Ayaw mo to kasi mahal. Ayaw mo rin to kasi mahal. Ito, tsaka na to. But just like a person, you cure one ailment, the rest of the ailment are still there. Madadamay at madadamay yan. Your brake pad is actually here. Manipis na rin eh. That's less than half. New brake pads are like this. Old brake pad versus new brake pad. This is what's left on the old brake pad. This is what a new brake pad is. So, times two. Yes, they are now ceramic brakes. There are no more metallic brakes. There are no more asbestos brakes, as some of them old timers may remember. So, it's pretty much this one. They're all ceramic now. So, the noise and other weird noises are pretty much a thing of the past already. <laughs> This is what's the inside of your drum brake. Looks pretty daunting. Na parang, Ooh, ang dami naman yan, yan. This is the one that does the handbrake. This is the piston. Pag tumapak ka ng preno, fluid goes here. Bumubuka to para itulak dun sa brake shoe. That's what actually does the braking. This thing here is the handbrake. Yung ratatatat, narinig mo, ito yun. <laughs> here, fresh delivery from KYB Philippines. We have set of new shocks for the Mandero. This, by the way, is a KYB XLG. XLG is their line of OEM quality replacement shock absorbers. They are most normally known as KYB color black. Very simple. And it has to look exactly the same as your original shock absorber. Kailangan pareho itsura nito. Pag hindi pareho itsura, hindi papasok sa kotse. Same height, same everything. Remember the shock where it is so hard Push down <coughs> and don't go up. Your new shock absorber should be fairly easy to push down and goes back up. This one will give you back the right comfort in your car. Okay, our maintenance on the Montero is done. We've replaced a bunch of items in the suspension, most notably the shock absorbers, uh, the rubber bushings underneath, stabilizer, links and some of you maintenance items like axle boot it's torn we'll replace that and almost all the kalampag and noise and tick 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 tock 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 sounds are not present anymore i won't say it drives like brand new but it definitely drives a lot better than before it came into the shop and had all of this done then after everything we put it on the dyno again and then we retuned it so we got 200 horses uh, not bad for a 10 year old car so once again, like the name says, PMS Preventive Maintenance Service. You prevent the, it from breaking down. So bago masira, palitan. Wag yung Pilipino way na pagsira at kapapalitan.
So here at Speed Lab, we not only do uh, racing and performance stuff, we actually do maintenance also, the boring things. Uh, change oil, spark plug, engine overhaul we have to do also. Because first and foremost, if you want more power from your car, you have to make sure that your car is running well and in good condition first. You can't make a car more powerful if there's a bunch of problems wrong with it. So we have to address that and that's what we do also. Anything mechanical as far as engine and suspension related is concerned, we also do that. Have a problem with your car, weird noises, bring it over to the shop so we can test drive it and most importantly we can hear what the sounds are because you can message us through Facebook also but saying something like May ingay yung koche ko at may kalampag does not really help us in diagnosing what the noise is. So it's better to bring the car in for us to see, test drive. You drive it, you let us hear what the noises are, and then together we can look at the car and we can point out, oh, ito, 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 this, this, this is the potential problem, this is what we see, ito may tulo, ito may tagas, and all of that. So at least you get a first hand view and what exactly is wrong with your car, and to know that, okay, these are the things that I need to replace. That's our feature in Autopedia this week. Taking care of your ride has been made easier. And that's Autofocus this week. We hope you have found this edition of your electronic automobile magazine. Informative as well as entertaining. Check us out on our Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram accounts. On behalf of my dad, Butch Gamboa, this has been your host, Ray Louis Gamboa. Please stay safe and healthy.